Hello everyone. In this session, we will see examples of 4xx and 5xx error codes. So we discussed in error codes API of manual API testing and basics of API testing that there are different kinds of error codes like 1xx, 2xx informational, 2xx are success one, 3xx are redirection one, 4xx are client side errors and 5xx are server side errors. So we'll discuss about server side and client side errors here. So let's discuss about client side errors. So in client side error, the message is pretty clear. Whenever we make some mistake, so there is an API documentation and the API documentation have certain fields that can accept certain values, have certain endpoints that can accept certain endpoints. But in case we mistakes, we make some mistake in those API endpoints or fields name or values, then we see these these errors or client side errors. So first of all, let's see uh, 422. So 422 is an error when we receive where we make some mistake while giving some data values. So here, if you see uh, the browser stack upload API accept file and data. The file data is basically custom ID is equal to this and file is certain files. In, in our case, it is APK or IPA file. Now, in case I don't give this data, it will actually throw a 422 error. Let's see. Right? Because this is now a unprocessable entity. We made some mistake here. Similarly, this is about 422. Similarly, this is my endpoint. And now in case I make some mistake here. So this is a valid endpoint and I look for something like this. So I made some mistake here. Now in this case, I will get a 404 error because this API is not present on browser stack API server. So the error was 404 not found. Right? Now, Let's see one more error, which is related to authorization. So browsers, while logging into the browser stack, it needs a basic auth where you supply the correct username and correct password. Till now, because it was correct, it was not giving us error in this point. It was giving us error where it, it is looking for the values of particular fields. Now let's say I make some mistake. I type the username as wrong. So now this user is actually not able to access this API. So it should not look for the this validation. It should fail while the authorization validation itself. So let's see if we get some error. See, so now we got 404 unauthorized. So this user, which is a wrong user, is not allowed to access this API. So it did it did even look for the body based validation. It failed on the authorization level itself. So using this browser stack API, we saw three errors. We saw 422 for unprocessable entity where we actually supplied invalid file or no file. Then we saw 404 where we supplied wrong endpoint. And then we, say, then we uh, saw 401 where we supplied wrong credential, right? Similarly, there are other, other 4xx errors. So let's talk about 400 and 405. 400 where we make some mistake while supplying the data and 405 where we uh, give wrong wrong method type. So this is the wrong method type. So for that we choose we choose a good API. So many API doesn't give you the correct correct specification or correct errors because sometimes the developers gives you the common error. So that's why we are not using browser stack for that. But Spotify has actually it gives you the right errors and right value, right uh, error codes. So if you see the correct API of uh, Spotify is this, this is a GraphQL based API. So the endpoint is this and then in body you select in GraphQL and then you select query and the correct variable. So if you select with the correct everything, you will get result 200. Okay, we get the result of particular values of artist. Now let's make some mistake. Now, if I change this, if I change post to let's say get, now I made a mistake where I'm supplying a get method type instead of post. So it should give me 405 method not allowed error. I think it was get only. So let's see some other, yeah, this one. See, 
method not allowed because head method is not allowed on this it is a get method so it is, should allow only get method type now let's see other error so now this is the valid query with valid parameters right so if i hit this will let's say wrong field value let's say i hit this with wrong data type so i should get 40 bad request because i supplied something wrong here right so i supplied something wrong here so 404 error similarly now we saw 40400 error and we saw 405 now one more error which we can see is basically 403 forbidden what does that mean that mean if we try to supply some method where the method is actually present but you don't have access to use that method then we get 403 forbidden for that we have an api this one and generally when you hit this api you get 200 successful uh, not this you get 200 successful oh, wait right now here there are multiple options so now this api works for post also works for put also it works for most of the method type because the same request endpoint is uh, eligible to perform number of actions now let's see if we can do the purge action purge is a database activity where we try to purge the data purge means we try to uh, delete all the existing data from the tables now this method is actually present on that server but it is not available for this particular api so let's try this see we got 403 right so these are all 4xx error we discussed so so 400 comes when we make some mistake while giving the field names 401 comes when the user credentials are wrong 403 comes when we try to access some method type which is not allowed for particular api 404 comes when we try to access an endpoint which is invalid 405 comes when we try to access a method type uh, which is wrong like get instead of post we try to access delete 422 comes when we try to make some mistake while supplying data so uh, this is uh, what all about 4xx errors now let's see 5xx errors 5xx are pretty simple where uh, something is wrong on server so let's say this is my website just automacy.com so right now if i hit this i'm getting 200 okay but let's say if i uh, if i deactivate my server or shut down my server then i will get because then it will hit the, that server and it will say that server is not reachable right now so it, then will i get the server side error so let's do that let me shut down my server okay so now see if i have put shut down my server now i'm getting this error 503 service unavailable so that is how you can uh, recreate the uh, server side address where either something is wrong on server or server the server is server is running but uh, the, the service which is hit by this api is not running so i hope you like this session about 4xx and 5xx server side and client side errors see you in the next session